What's going on, YouTube? We're at, out here at it again. We got a gig uh, this morning. Uh, looks like we'll be doing, uh, laying down some, uh, some, uh, oh, uh, bead barrier, doing a little fence repair, uh, a couple of things for a client today. So it's going to be a good day. And then later on today, I'm going to be doing a TV mount. So it's, it's shaping up to be a great day. Daniel with Phoenix Solutions. I'll be right with you. Okay, what's up YouTube? We're out here for the client. So the gig today is going to be putting some silt down along this entire run. And then we're looking at uh, putting that pile of rocks back here up on that. So that's our, that's our uh, gig for today. That's what we're going to be working on. So uh, to start with, uh, we have to gain access to back here and that entails uh just taking this uh dispense here and um i've removed these boards already and so now uh we're just trying to take the nails out of the fence so that we can gain access back here for the wheelbarrow that's it for now so Let's see if we can actually get some real recording on this project today. Um, that's probably a poor idea. Let's do this. Hey. Uh, well, maybe, maybe we can actually balance that. Well. There we go. Yeah, something like that. Alright. So, to start with, we'll be working on taking, taking this gate down right over here. Right here. Yeah, sweet. Talking with the client, she seems pretty cool. So, it was a pleasure working for these guys. The difficulty of this is that these staples are so embedded that hard sometimes to get your pliers on them. And then, in theory, we'll be able to just load this up and dump some rock on it. The next thing I got to do is grab this silt fence right here. Grab this silt fence right here and uh, roll it out. So I think... The right thing to do is going to be to come back to this corner back over here and roll it that way. Ooh. It's going to be interesting doing these, but I think what I'll do, I'll probably start here. Oh, get on there. There we go. And then try to cut that. So we'll do that. Alright, I'll be back with you here shortly. 
What's going on YouTube? Daniel with Phoenix Solutions. Phase one of this gig is completed as far as I'm going to be able to go. Um, I <laughs> ran out of the roll here. So that's going to be all the silt we'll be able to get down. To be honest with you, I think they severely underestimated this project. I think we'll, <laughs> we'll be able to get uh, the rock. Um, pretty much squared away and dumped on this uh, on this silt and I don't think it'll even cover what we have down so uh, it'll be a good start I'll check in with my client and see where she's at so uh, Daniel with Phoenix Solutions for now we'll talk to you later What's up, YouTube? Quick little update. You can see my pile is getting significantly smaller. Also, we got a delivery. We got some more, um, more felt uh, delivered to us. So now the whole run is in, and I can start filling up that back end over there. I gotta drop a little bit more rock right there so that this whole spot right here stops being so dang muddy. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie to you. This job is physically kicking my ass. It is so much work. Um, but uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna keep plugging away at it. So just a quick little update for you. Daniel with Phoenix Solutions, I'll be back. Okay, YouTube, quick update. I, I had to take a break. I have been, you can see by the, by the uh, dirt mark on the pavement and in a comparison shot for how much rock is left to be moved, how much rock I have moved, and at this point, my body is pretty much telling me uh, that I need to take a break. So that's what I'm doing. So I figured I'd show you my progress right now. That's how much rock is back here. Um, let, me, uh, let me talk about this job a little bit. Um, it's become clearly apparent to me as I've got into doing this job as I'm listening to what my body is telling me uh, that I severely underestimated this job and estimated in terms of 
the estimate of the charge that I gave the client. So here's the breakdown. Uh, I paid $50 uh, for the opportunity to be out here. So far, the cost that I bid this project was $100. So the gross profit on this job before taxes is $50 to move two ton of rock, not to mention laying down all of this barrier. Um, as I previously stated um, in my uh, week two and week one, or no, my week one um, uh, weekly, weekly breakdown, um, self-employment taxes sit at about 21%. My situation, given that I have a backlog of money that I owe the, the government right now for last year, I'm estimating 30% in taxes. Now, I've run very rough in my head numbers. And I'll do the breakdown on paper and give a more accurate breakdown later. But the rough math that I did in my head says that my net profit on this job is going to be $30. I am making $30 take home to be moving all of this rock back here. <laughs> I severely underestimated this job. Now, silver linings, right? The silver lining is that I will have hopefully gained an excellent review from my client off of this job, which will uh, which will really improve my ability to resource more work like this in the future. In the future, if I do a job like this, I wouldn't estimate a job like this in the future for any less than $1,500. Next time I do a job like this, I'm making $1,500 on it, or I'm not doing it. Um, my perspective on that is, is a couple of things. First of all, I'm a handyman, okay? These, these people contracted a handyman to do landscaping work. This is, this falls under the purview of landscaping work. Now, now, my part in that is that I enrolled myself to accept landscaping jobs. And to be honest with you, I'm not butthurt about that. I don't mind doing landscaping work. Um, um, my, Long-term goal for my business is to open myself up to all markets for, for income. Um, my goal is to, is to get to a point where opportunities like this can benefit people in the future. I can resource individuals out there that are interested in transitioning from their everyday normal income that is is um, costing them uh, peace of mind and more 
from the very backwards companies that they're working for. In, in that vein, the opportunity that I have to be out here right now doing this and recognizing the disparity, uh, the mistake that I made financially on this project will ensure that I can adequately direct them when they, when they um, are working with me. I'll be able to correctly estimate a project like this so that I can ensure that they get paid good value on a project like this. Uh, I'm telling you right now, my body is hating this. My body is absolutely hating this. This is brutal. But I made the mistake. I've got to make good on it. So I'm going to take a few more minutes and recover just a little bit more. And then I'm going to get back at it. And I'm going to move the other three-quarter ton of rock back here and call it a wrap on this project. Daniel with Phoenix Solutions. We'll talk to you later. Okay, my body is screaming at me at the moment. So I need to take a minute. But to give you some perspective, for that big old pile, you can see what's left. We have maybe two or three more runs after this run, so like four more runs total to get the rock back there. And I'll come back here and show you where we're at here. That is where things stand currently. Maybe you can hear how winded I am right now by this job. And one of the things that is impacted by the fact that I, I grievously misestimated uh, this job is that even if I were done with this job two hours ago, I would be missing out on money, um, which means that the less time that I have spent on this job, the better. Um, and if I had properly bid this job, it would have given me the financial uh, breadth to be able to spend potentially two days on this project rather than beating myself to death on this project in the four or five hours that I've got into it so far. Anyway, lessons learned. This one's a valuable one. This one's a real valuable one. Daniel with Phoenix Solutions, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm happy to report this one's over. This one's done. Wasn't quite enough rock to um, complete the backyard. Um, it was about half of what they needed. Um, but there it is. My part of this is done. Um, once again, I have to reiterate, it is not their fault. It is mine. And, uh, I, I feel beat to death. And, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit sore about this, but I really appreciate the opportunity that they gave me to come and do this job. I'm going to 
get on the road here and I'll be right back with you. And then we'll do a breakdown when I get home. Daniel with Phoenix Solutions. Okay. <laughs> Hairdo. So maybe you can see just exactly how beat up I am here. How sweaty. Oh, my back is killing me. Truly, truly killing me. And uh, that one was brutal. That one was brutal. Um, like I said, I estimate I made $30 net profit. moving over two tons of rock. Um, oh, I should check. Uh, it's 2.05 now. Okay, that's going to be important for later. What I want to do is I want to be able to estimate what my hourly net, my net hourly, I guess is what I mean to say is on this project <coughs> after I lay it all out. I want to look specifically at the numbers, which that'll be interesting. Oh my gosh, I ache so bad. Oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. <laughs> Once again, I want to reiterate, this is not my client's fault. It is entirely mine. Um, <coughs> there's... Oh my gosh. There's some silver linings to this. As I was thinking about this, in addition to what I already mentioned, that being that I've earned more opportunity with this client, I'm sure. Um, hopefully. Hopefully, I've also earned the opportunity to get some serious referrals from this client. Which, here's how that breakdown works. If I can get referrals from this client, and they actually yield well in terms of referrals, what that can do is that can significantly reduce the amount of money I am spending on leads, which will play to the whole old adage, a penny saved is a penny If I can do some decent value gigs on a plethora of leads provided to me by this client, then every single job that I do that is a referral from this client will reduce the overall financial impact of this job. As it stands, it's still painful. I probably left, I, I know I left at least $700 on the table with this job. And in my financial position, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. But, I'm happy to have had this experience. It's like a game like a game, playing this game, sometimes you lose out hard, but when you do lose out hard, you gain something out of it that will better prepare you <coughs> to protect yourself. It will better prepare you to protect yourself. So, I will know, I will know how to estimate a job like that in the future. Ow! 
that one hurt. Okay, I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna clean myself up. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do this tally. And I'll bring you in for that. Okay, YouTube. Focus. Focus. Wow. Blurry. Come on now. Thank you. There we go. Uh, I did the breakdown. I did the breakdown. And, yeah, it was painful. Um, as you can see, uh, I've titled this page, Please Focus Camera. Uh, how big of a mistake did I make? I paid $45.04 to go out and do the job that I just completed. My total bid for the project, my gross profit, was $100. I, I bid $100 to do that job. Uh, the taxes on the income will be $30. So $30 comes off top of that $100. And when you subtract the $45 from the $100 and the $30 from what's left over, that's that's seventy five oh four together. My net profit on that job was twenty four dollars and ninety six cents. I spent five and a half hours on that job this morning, which, if you divide twenty four ninety six. By 5.5, my net hourly rate for the job that I just did was $4.54 an hour to do what I just did. Um, now, I want to reiterate. I want to reiterate. That was entirely my fault. And I will chin up. I will, I will thank my client for that opportunity. And then I will beg my client to shill my business as much as possible. The thing of it is, if I can get... A lot of activity generated off of the work that I've done for this client. Um, I can reduce the financial impact of that job significantly uh, by means of generating leads that I don't have to pay for. If I can reduce the amount of money that I'm spending on leads off of this job significantly, that will more than make up for my error in my estimate. And so I really hope that I'll be able to do that. Um, um, but, but yeah, um, that was painful. Um, I'm very, very, very shaky right now. Um, my body is aching like crazy after that. And, um, like I said, if I had properly, um, uh, estimated this job, I might have had the, the financial means to make two days out of that project and not kill myself the way that I just did. Um, but, but yeah, and, and, um, uh, Summer, if you're watching this video, I really want to thank you. I really want to thank you for the opportunity. It is not your fault that I made that mistake. Um, and I'm so glad, so glad that I, I had the opportunity to really create value for me or, or for you. I mean, um, it is my goal as as a business owner to really create value 
maybe not that much, but uh, it is my goal to really create value uh, for my clients. So, Summer, if you are watching this video, again, uh, thank you very much for that opportunity. Uh, I'm going to go clean myself up um, and relax for a little bit. I have another job coming up this evening. Um, looking forward to that. It's going to be an awesome opportunity for me because it'll be a TV mount, which is a, a, a business sector that I really want to uh, develop again. So I'm really looking forward to that. Stay tuned. And um, uh, now I can, I, can, I can put this one behind me and hopefully generate uh, quite a bit more opportunity uh, for the rest of the week. Daniel with Phoenix Solutions. Thank you all for coming along with me on this one. And um, yeah, um, it, was, it was a great learning opportunity. I will be able to, uh, to take, take this uh, situation and spin it, hopefully. Summer, help me out. Um, and um, I, will, uh, I will hopefully be able to, to make some lemonade out of this one. Daniel with Phoenix Solutions. Take it easy, beautiful people. Talk to you later.